welcome to art happens. It's absolutely amazing what art can do in our lives. There's sometimes when you have someone who's very sick who needs to raise money or you need a kind of event specially done and music is an amazing thing. In the studio today is a young lady who's done exactly that, raising funds for charity and doing amazing works locally in our area. And I welcome to the show, Marlene Clark. Good to meet you, Marlene. Pleasure, pleasure to meet yes. you, Damien. Sometimes art just happens. Can you tell us a little bit about that story? Yeah, um, we actually, um, with my band, I do a lot of charity work. Um, we usually do at least two or three uh, charity events that we pick a year. Um, one of the uh, specific charity events that we picked was for a young gentleman, um, about 16 years old, who was diagnosed with cancer. Unfortunately, um, he couldn't afford the medicine and the surgery that he needed in Canada and had to be flown to the States. So my band and I decided to pull everything up and pull everything out, and we got together for this young gentleman. We actually raised enough money not only to send him to the States for the surgery, but he's now um, in remission. He's been cancer-free ever since. So it's just one of the things that we do as a band. That is brilliant. How long have you been together as a band? Tell us a little bit about your band. Um, I've actually been in live music for, I'd say, probably about 10 or 15 years now. Um, the two bands that I currently have going are relatively new, um, but with seasoned players. These guys have been playing for 30, 40 odd years. I have one band by the name of Marley, um, who is a, it's, that's actually a rock and blues band. Mm -hmm. Played a lot of the classic rock. And the other band that you'll see today is uh, Cl um, Clark County, which is our country band. And we'll be doing a lot of originals and releasing a new CD with this one. Okay. How did Clark Country form? I actually, it's funny because I moved to Barrie a very short while ago to this area. Mm -hmm. um, and I've always been looking, I've always played in this area and look forward to playing more in this area. Um, when I moved to the area, I just hooked up with some local musicians. Social media is huge. Yes. Um, so I already knew these guys before I actually physically met them. And we'd gotten online and decided that we wanted to do something together. So when I moved to, when I actually moved to the area, we all met. and so you've been in the industry a very long time. Have you found it's changed a lot over over the years? I have. Um, judging from the way that the industry used to be, when you could come up with a hit song and be you know signed by a record company and you know million dollars in a tour and everything else, unfortunately, it's not like that. Today's um, today's music is now a do it yourself world. But with social media and all of the other tools available to us, it really is very, very easy to market yourself and your own band or whatever you happen to be doing. What kind of, you say is easy, is it, is it a difficult learning curve to go through as, as an artist? It's, you know what, it's more asking, um, asking questions. You need to, networking is the biggest thing, I find. Um, and the social media really affords us the, um, the um, it really affords us the time and the, and the wherewithal to actually meet up with people that we wouldn't normally and, and connect with these people. Um, you never know through networking who, who you're going to meet. I was a business person long before I dropped into the music business mm -hmm. and networking has always been paramount. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. what I've just continued networking and it just keeps growing bigger and bigger. I'm absolutely astounded at your social reach. That, that's how I found you originally <laughs> actually. That's really wild. If I was an artist that's new to the, to the industry and I wanted to dig into it or if I was an established artist that's been around the block and is new to social networking and whatnot, would you be able to help me or do you, do you provide that kind of service? Absolutely, yes. If you're looking for any type of help or any type of um, assistance, I'm always more than happy to help my fellow musicians and fellow business people to network and learn how to do these things. It's really not as difficult as it seems to be. It can be very overwhelming or look like it's very overwhelming with Twitter and you know all of the other social media network sites that we have. Facebook is, is another big one. Mm -hmm. But it's really very easy to maneuver and there are people out there um, you know, who do that for a living as well, who will help you set up, um, you know, websites and, and learn and teach you how to do social marketing. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go back to your band for a minute now. So you formed this really cool country band. Where are you playing? Are you have uh, gigs coming up? Um, we do. We actually have uh, quite a few gigs coming up this summer. Um, I'm just waiting for confirmation of them. Um, we um, officially have one, our first gig, because we are relatively new, is at CJ Barley's in Keswick on September the 11th. So we look forward to playing there. Excellent. And we're also looking at getting into some of the festivals this year as well, some of the local festivals that they have up here. Okay. Early on today, we recorded one of your songs. Could you tell us a little bit about the song we're going to play, the first country song you, you did? Sure. It's um, actually a cover tune um, by Miranda Lambert. Um, what we're trying to do with the country band when we're playing the covers is to make it a really wide range. So we have, you know, some older classic country and then right up into the new stuff. So Miranda Lambert, White Liar, is one of the newer country tunes that we picked. And we want to keep it as danceable as possible because we know that people will come out to see us if we have an energetic show, which is what we absolutely guarantee to perform. Excellent. Well, let's roll that. Let's see what it's like.
simply incredible. Thank you very much. Love your voice. Love your band. Thank and you. How long have you been together to make it that tight? Uh, you know, it's like I said, it's a relatively new band. So we've actually only been together for uh, probably about a month or so. That's exceptional. These That's guys exceptional. are totally seasoned players, though, and they really know what they're doing. So it's wonderful to be able to work with such seasoned players. Wow, wow. And you have another band that you play with as well. I do. The other band is called Marley. It's a rock and blues band, and we do classic rock and blues covers. And we have our first gig on um, April 25th at Wiki's Pub in Barrie. So okay. make sure you all come out. Awesome. What's it like to be in two bands? Do you find it tears you in too many directions at times? or is it? I find that actually because I have such a wide range of music that I like myself. The genres for me ranges from everything from country right on through to rock and blues and jazz. Um, that I, For me, it's a pleasure to be able to run two different bands and to be able to have two different genres that I can play. So for me, it's, it's great. I love it. What are your personal dreams and aspirations as an artist? You know, when I first dropped into the business, um, I actually got laid off from a job and the business was part-time for me. So I took it into um, in, in my business skills into full-time with the band. And at that particular time, you know, it's very difficult. It's really a one in a million shot. I'm a smart girl to, to become a super rock star, you know, and the, that's not really the way the music business is going anyway. Um, so basically what I'm looking at down the road, and I've already started in, in you know, networking in that particular direction, is songwriting. That's where I went ahead. Okay. You say that's not where the music industry is going. Where do you see the music industry going? I see a lot of, um, well, there's no really huge record companies anymore. So you're not getting those major stone Zeppelin artists that you used to, the big bands that they're doing. And I really think that music is starting to take a little bit of a turnaround um, due to the auto-tune and not having real raw music. So my both my bands, that's what we um, concentrate on performing, is the real live raw stuff without any auto-tune or anything else to go along with it. Okay. I know you brought some photos of some of the live stage stuff that you have done in your past. Is that the present band that we're going to see now? This, these are uh, pictures of the present band members, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. So this first one is? This is Mr. Paul McGee. Yes, okay. And Paul McGee, he, what instrument does he play? Um, he's lead guitarist. He also sings. All the members of both bands sing. Okay. So we've got great harmonies and great vocals coming along with it. Excellent, excellent. And this next one is? Um, that is Paul as well. Yes, okay, okay. <laughs> and is, where, where are these taken? Where are these? These are actually taken, uh, Paul is from the other side of the lake, from the Aurora side of okay. the lake. So he, he plays with another band. I mean, you'll find that most of us play in more than one band. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. All three of my guys play in other bands as well. Mm -hmm. um, so Paul McGee plays with the Twangsters, which is a, a male-based country band on the other side of the lake. Okay, okay. That's a fun photo. I love that. Yes. What gave you that idea? Uh, you know, I was actually at um, a tractor pull and just outside of town here, just outside, I'm not sure what the name of the little tiny town was, but I'm always up for a photo shoot and I had a photographer friend with me. So he asked the tractor guy if I could climb in the wheel. So I did. And then we photoshopped it to make it like that. That'll that. probably be the, um, the cover of the new country album. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Do you have a name for it yet? Uh, Clark County. Okay. It's the name of the band. Well, it's oh, the name oh, of the band. band and, yes. And, and it'll name? probably be just that. Self-titled? Yeah, okay. yeah. For the initial album. Okay. Okay. And that's... You're that is Chris Conley. Chris okay. Conley is a, a bass player, funny guy too. And same thing, great vocals, great harmonies. Yes, yes. Well, you said you're, you're bland. It's just yes, it's wonderful. Doesn't it sound lovely? Yes, yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. That's Chris as well. As you can see, a lot of us have uh, professional photographers that that kind of come out to our shows. So right, right. That, that you find that's important? As you know, for exposure and if you're networking and if you're trying to, whether it's a business or whether it's music, anything that you do, you know, yes. um, school of music, yes. um, anything that you're doing is marketing yourself. So yes, um, any photographers that come out, they post it on their sites, we post it on ours. It makes us look more professional as well, which we are, which um, helps us to get bigger and better venues. Excellent, excellent. Love what you do, and that's you. That is me, yes. That's at one of the other charity events that I do on a yearly basis. I do Woody Stock for Lupus. And I've done that for probably about four or five years in a row. And we've raised, I can't tell you how many hundreds of thousands of dollars for this. That is excellent. Is that important to you, to, to support them? It is very important to me to give back to the community. Um, you know, it, playing music is wonderful. And it's great to have the audience come back to you. But the charity events are, are just, they are phenomenal. They give you such a sense of love and, and togetherness and feeling. Um, we've done them for the troops as well, um, charity events. And I actually received a letter back once from a soldier thanking us for for doing the charity event for for the troops so it's lovely it brings a tear to my eye now <laughs> yes yes well that's excellent wish you brought it really i know i know i know yes 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 <laughs> you keep talking about it i may <laughs> <laughs> 
you're a very diverse singer. So you also covered jazz earlier on today. I do some jazz as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's usually when I'm out with my jazz buddies. Um, I have a, um, a couple of good friends, um, that play on the other side of the lake and, and some jazz, some jazz bands. So I love to do things like fever. I'll try almost anything once musically. Um, I did musical theater as well. I was Mary Poppins and the wicked queen. Oh, no kidding. Act one and act two. So yeah, I did, vocally I've done a lot of stuff. That is awesome. We have future guests on the show that have that stage background. Lovely. So it's so much fun. Awesome. Blackout week was something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's roll some of the, the footage that we have of you doing jazz earlier Great. on today. Great. song is gorgeous why Thank did you, you choose it it was one of the very first songs i ever tried vocally on a stage mm. so it's always been one of my personal favorites plus it was my mom's favorite what's your repertoire like in the big list of things how many songs do you do oh my gosh you know what i've been singing ever since i was a little girl so i say my repertoire and my lyrical repertoire yes, i yes. have i have one of those photographic memories oh. it's probably anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred songs in my head at any given time that i can pull out and sing that is ridiculous Ridiculous. I know it's it's a weird talent to have, but so, some people memorize law books and legal terms and medical stuff. You got songs up. I it's natural for me too. I don't even 
need to try really. I mean, usually three times after I hear a song, I can I can repeat it verbatim. Envy me. I <laughs> I've been playing forever, and to this day, I need the audience to support me sometimes. Everybody <laughs> has a talent. You have a talent that I probably couldn't do whatsoever. So, <laughs> well, it was a pleasure having you on the show, and it was a Absolutely pleasure. Thank a you pleasure. so much. If we wanted to get a hold of you, how do we do so? And you're going to contact um, um, contact at marlenclarkmusic.com, or you can go directly to the website www.marlenclarkmusic.com, and we're available for bookings now so excellent well we look forward to seeing it for the show sometimes art just happens roll credits art happens is brought to you in part by spalding school of music backland photography and pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows 